This is Ray Sevitz with Mountain Sweet Honey and we have a unique video I want to share with you today and it is the European Hornets. There's actually two hives of hornets here on this property in Gillsville, Georgia and I just wanted to share this with you all. The first one here is a hollow out in a tree and I don't see any guard bees currently right around there. Let's see, let's see if there's any in there. Oh, I hear one coming, there's one. Yep, right there. Okay, now the next one we're gonna go to is pretty unique. Okay, this next one is kind of hidden here in this, in this bush. And so let's take a look at it. This is about, a hundred feet away from the other tree so I would assume this was a swarm that swarmed out and uh, is here in this bird nest and that is it right there and we're going to take a look and get that out of there um, in just a few minutes we're gonna let all of them get back in there and we're gonna see here comes another one in we're gonna see if there is multiple queens in these hives. So interesting night, let's see what, what it has. Okay, we just got this out of the bush. And as you can see, I put a rag into the front. And let's see if you can hear the buzzing here. All right, well tomorrow we'll open it up and see if there's multiple queens inside this. See you. Okay, we're back here at the store and here is the, the birdhouse that has all of the European hornets in there. We left it overnight and I came back and um, we, we were looking at what happened because I saw a couple of hornets that had made it outside here in the room. You know, there was 32 dead bees that were here, which tells me they really need to have water to survive. And um, here's just a, a good picture of the ones that are deceased and then one that's still alive here. So let's look back into the uh, into the birdhouse here and see what's happening inside of it. Okay, here we go. We're about to take the roof of the birdhouse off and let's see what this nest looks like and go from there. There it is. And we still got a couple of European hornets that are still in there. And that looks like cat brood right there. And we'll have to dig in further and see what's going on next. Okay, I don't think that that is cat brood. In fact, it's a old hornet's nest. So we're gonna take that off and expose what we see this next layer, which does look like brood underneath the first layer of of the wasp nest here. Okay, so now I've taken all these paper layers back away. We still got some bees down here in the bottom part. Okay, so here's a real close up look of the brood uh, within the nest itself. And we're gonna try to pull it out or cut into it here in just a second and see what we've got inside here. Okay, so we're ready to stick our tool in here and pull the top of this off. Let's see what we find here. Oh my, here we go. There you go, you can look down in there and there's larva capped, capped and um, 
even eggs in there. So we have not found the queen yet. And we don't know if there's more than one queen, so we'll keep digging here. There you go. Now you can really look down in there and see those larvae. Okay, so now we're down to another layer within this nest, and you can see there's a, a live European hornet right there in the corner. And we'll get her out of the way and then keep digging here and see if we can find that queen. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and lift up this next layer of the nest here. And that's where the queen has got to be. All right. Yes, there she is. Look at how big she is. Wow. Versus the others. That's the queen right there. Let's see if we can get her out to get a good look at her. All right, folks. There she is. That's the queen right there. And um, there are the other nurse bees taking care of that nest. Look at how big she is. Wow. Wow. If you look right here at the end of that tip, there's one emerging from the cell. And the queen is also feeding um, down into the larva for that queen there. Once again, all these bees are very, very docile right now um, as I'm working right around them. But boy, I had probably another dozen or so fly out at me as I was preparing for this video here. But you can see right here, see that? that cell emerging right there. Let's see if I can get closer. There we go. And it looks like that one will be out fairly shortly. All right, I thought we only had one queen in here, but there is a young queen, and it's this one right here. We just saw her lay an egg in one of the cells. And these other two are nurse hornets, and they are nursing those that are in the larva stage and about to emerge. And the queen is also tending to, to some of the larva too, which is fairly interesting on that there. But you can see here the pattern is she laid here to begin with. These have emerged out around here, and she just laid those back through. So she's following a cycle from the inside and out laying as well as the other side of the hive that we looked at earlier. Okay, so the moral of this story is, is there's about 40 dead ones that we have here that flew out overnight and attacked me as I was opening this. And then we've got about four or five live ones still that are um, nurse bees. And then on top of that, we had probably two dozen that didn't make it in the hive the night that we got this bird box out of the bush. So um, that's how many, uh, 52, would be 50, 56 total for this one little nest. This is Ray Sivitz with Mount.